Hi, my name is Jason, and I'm here to show you my veggie drying rack that I built last year to help all of those uh, end of the garden needs, like um, storing your potatoes and your onions and your squash and etc. Um, I'm like a lot of people that like to build a big garden and have fresh food throughout the year. And uh, like most people, just starting out, um, I put my stuff in bins and stuff. And sort of in, I do my heated garage, or some people put them in cellars or basements, uh, any cool, dry places uh, would be ideal for it. Uh, but in bins and stuff, the air couldn't circulate as well and, and, and dry the food, so my potatoes would start sprouting like in January and stuff, and they start spoiling my onions, and that wasn't good enough, so I had to go find a different reason. And there's actually um, a lot of good drying racks out there. I got a couple links on my blog. Uh, there's some good drying racks, some neat styled ones, and some ones that are just for storage and stuff. Uh, so there's a lot of good examples out there. So you don't have to build one. You can definitely go out and buy one, um, especially if you don't really have a particular space and you can kind of accept anything. There's, there's plenty of them out there for kits and, or full built ones that you can get. You don't have to go and actually build one. Uh, but in my case, I had a particular spot in my garage I wanted to put it. And I wanted to hold a certain amount of stuff, and I like building things, so I decided to build myself a dry rack. As you can see, I, I built mine on the cheap. Uh, mine is built on 2x4s, 2x2s, 1x4s, and a bunch of chicken wire. Um, I wanted something that was very cheap, but incredibly functional. And so this is what I came up with. Uh, my dry rack is 5 feet high, and I wanted to fit in a 2x3 space. So the dry rack itself is actually 3, the depth is 3 feet, inch and a half. Oh, I got some 2x4s on the back for backstops for the drawers to slide in. And then the width is uh, 2 feet and 3 inches, so I got some 2x4s on the side to kind of bracket the drawers. The drawers itself are 2x3, and that's what I was kind of shooting for. As you can see, uh, I got 11 drawers uh, in my drying rack for as much, you know, to make as much storage as I could. And the drawers are actually built very simple. The drawers itself are just 1x4s. And it's just a two by three square, one by fours. And then on the bottom, I put like square chicken wire. So it's just square chicken wire that I stapled around the outside. And then I cut some, actually a bunch of these are just slat runners you can get from Menards or something like that. They're half inch wide slat runners um, or spacers that I screwed around just to hold the chicken wire in, give it some more strength. So when you put weight in the inside. And then it gave the drawer something to slide on. Um, in the gaps here, I have them about five and a quarter inches apart um, as you go up to take uh, in account for all the, the material in the shelf and then a little extra just for, um, for the shelf to slide. The runners I have are like three quarter inch by three quarter inch square pieces of wood that I've screwed the length at every drawer height so that the slats here have something to run on. Handles are simply just a two by four. I had some fun with my uh, table saw. I cut a little L shape out of them, so I got a little handle to hold it on, uh, but very simple. It's just a 2x4 on the table saw, and in a couple of minutes I had a whole bunch of handles. So the drawers are very simple. The drying rack itself is very simple. I put, um, I have uh, about 30 foot long, four rows of potatoes I put in here. I also put in three rows of onions, and um, I have my squash, and then I, I store carrots in here before I'm processing them stuff because I can most of those carrots. So I have a lot of shelves, and I still have storage left over. So it fits a lot. It's very functional. I think I built this thing for about 80 bucks, if that. Uh, so it's cheap and very functional. And it was a lot of fun um, to put the project together. So if you're looking for a dry rack and you want to have a little fun building one, I would suggest something like this. Very simple and cheap. So have fun in your garage.